Then we're doing a little side project today. Neil's back with us today. He's my buddy building a boat up in Ulaga. That's the lake north of us. Someday we're going to make the sailor into a sailor again, aren't we? Uh, yes, we are. Yes, yeah, right. <laughs> and this is the boom that's going on to Neil's boat. He has been watching too many. What's that guy's name? Skip Novak. Skip Novak videos, yeah. And Skip has a frame on his boom that when the sail comes down, it flakes into this frame. It's a cool idea. Now, there's normally lazy jacks that come down, but I may even do something like that on Seeker with cloth, though. But we're doing it on uh, his with aluminum pipe. And he also came up with this great idea. This is a bit of, what do you call this stuff, Neil? T-Track. T-Track. Junk rigs don't have this, but you see it on uh, sailboats. They put it down on the hull of the boat, and then there's a, what do they call that thing, a carriage? Carves. Oh, that's it. It's, it's a car. There's, there's, there's a thing that slides along here so you can tighten a screw and it holds it in that place. And you got your sheave or pulley for the rest of us in the world. So you can change the, the line or the rope. Yeah, that the goes up to the, uh, the gym. And the funny old man glasses, I finally graduated to them. Isn't this cool? I need to switch out. This, what I did, I'm keeping this eye closed because I just had surgery on it this morning for, uh, what do you call that? Lens replacement. And cataract. Yeah, well, okay. cataract. I had, a, I had a little bit of cataracts, but before I go out on the water, I want to be able to see distance without having to wear glasses. And so, stigmatism. And stigmatism. It's all, cool. all corrected. I have an improvement over the old man glasses. This is the way you roll, okay? Keeps out the light, and I can keep the eye open a little bit. Very comfy. The other thing we're, we're going to do is add brackets to bolt those winches onto the boom here all right now this is the gooseneck down here that's the gooseneck so that's the part that the gooseneck is the part that attaches to the mass which comes up here this is the bottom leg of it why do you need winches down here for well these winches are going to be used as reefing winches reefing winches yes so we use this to pull down uh, on our reefing lines oh. and, and to haul the sail down so the lines that go through this go back, back all the way to the back. cars yes and then what they do is they pull the sail down yeah. at that end of it that's and that right. is Short. called uh, what do you call that kind of reefing uh, slab reefing slab reefing that's yeah. it <laughs> So what's cool about this is when I'm done, I only need readers for the close-up work. I'll be able to see fine at distance without these. Look at that for one eye well. That. I think I'd do better with one eye. So you just take this bolt out. Uh, yeah, okay. The other two. Uh, okay, take so the thing in, in that case, we can actually get it in closer. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Right. Okay. So you know to set, right? Well, yeah. I think we cut these first. Neil's done a fair amount of aluminum welding too. And like we always say, it's not that hard. You just gotta practice. Nice yeah, and quick, beautiful. It's clean. Yeah, nice and quick. But I, I did as you said, I fed in, I tacked in in. Yeah, that's really <laughs> important. What we're talking about here is put a tack at the end, because when you bring the weld up to it, it's got the table to soak up some of the heat, but it diminishes how much heat it can soak up when it gets to the end of the metal. So the tack lets it come in hot. If you try and bring that weld all the way to the edge, you always blow through the edge of the metal. Okay. That hell give us we bend around that. Reciprocating saw is up there on the shelf. The downside to eye surgery is you can't pick up anything more than 10 pounds and you can't do any repeated bending over for a week. And they do one eye, then they wait a week and they do the next eye. So that's two weeks of doing nothing. So hence that's why I'm trying to work out my hydraulic parts. But I got some other news. We are up for sale, not the boat, but the property. And many thanks to Laura Mercado, my realtor. She's done a fantastic job. No more mowing grass for me. My contract actually lets me sell it to my neighbors at first pick and then Paul Nosek across the street as second choice. And anybody else can buy it after that. And I'm hoping my neighbors can come up with it, but have it listed at 65,000, but we already have offers uh, 80,000 and up. I paid 1,500 for this place. Now the house was a dump, but the property and fixing it up. So if you're thinking about, you know, how you can grow some skills and uh, make some money at the same time, think about learning to be a contractor, you know, doing the stucco work, the woodwork, the roofing and all that pays off handsomely. So we can put multiple ones in here and it gives us a nice round corner. So go ahead and, yeah, bend this bend. is, this isn't really far enough across. This has to be a little bit deeper because you're not going to bend that much material. Okay, so bring this down a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, make it a little deeper and, and a then. Little, a little wider? Yeah, and then fold it in. 
Okay, good. Yeah, that's great. You put another one in, it'll yes. be just about right. Yeah. Yeah. Little grinder work on that, and it's coming together. It's wider down there because that's where the mast is, and of course there's more sail down there, so more rack to hold it. Rocky, how you doing this morning, Rocky? We should mark a center line on this end, shouldn't we? So we just well, you can to get a piece of angle iron and that uh, fine center of a pipe for you. Let's do that. Okay. There's your center line right there. Let's mark that. Get it. Of course, it's a smart thing. I went to college. Oh, they didn't teach me this in college, by the way. Is it good if I mark the center line for the center? Yeah, see, that's what we need to do. Now bump that up against that pipe and see how we are. Put this back. Pull it down there and make sure they look like they it. They look good? Yeah. My brand new bionic eye says that looks pretty good. Yep. bowed out on that side yeah. and this one's bowed in a little bit. Bowed in, so yeah, so this fine center of those pipes and you go ahead and shift them over now and straighten that out. Okay, you're doing the pull, you're doing the look. Okay, I don't the look. Okay. Okay. You got a view? Go, go, there we go, good there. Go it. Don't let go, don't let go, let go. Okay, how's that look? That looks good. I mean, it's my eyesight looks okay. Sure. Well, it's, it's, it's your thing, so if it's it looks your good. eyesight, that's it. That's good. Well, I'm, just, I'm, I'm surprised, surprised got... this far on it. All right. Okay. Ready? Oh, I can't lift my eyeball. Yes. What do you do? Okay. That's fine. I, 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 what's the angle of the boom there? Oh, I think 45. Oh, oh it'll be out of the way. Yeah. yeah. No, that won't be a problem. Would diminish in height. Yes, as we go along. <clears throat> but how much? Well, there's there's not a lot of up pull here. This, this is this is the furthest. Why don't we attach a string, weld on one down there, and then figure out one here and just run a string, and the rest of them with the string. Okay. He's nodding his head behind you, so he's being reinsured by That's exactly how I would do Brian it. back there. So Brian, just put a string down and yeah, so it's just fine. So that it kind of looks right for here. But See, this angle here is probably about. You said forty-five. Yeah. This about, is under that. A boat. A boat. The boat. Yeah, the boat. So a little lower than this, then. A little lower than that. Okay. We cut off an inch. Okay. This is sitting. That's five inches right on the mark there. You want to just duct tape it on there or something? Let's put it loose. Uh, what's the rubber on there? Ah, uh, one yeah. But that's man, that's gonna be strong as snot. Much neater than my work. Look, see, I went too too hot there. See how it stopped? Yeah, but hit it with a grinder. The weight's good. Another successful project. Neil's boat's going to look a lot like Skip Novak's boat, apparently. This is really robust. Now to rig up, planning for the rest of the rigging. Neil, what would you call this thing? Uh, boom rails. It's down parallel. It needs a name. Well, it needs a name, but any of the videos. Lazy I've Jack at, Boom Modification. Could be. And you got the two winches to mount here? Uh, not yet. Well, I have I have two that are non-self tailing now this is nice and this here when it's the other way around you're gonna have a handhold when you got to flake the sail down or work on it and it's a bit rough you got a handhold to stand up and 
one hand for the boat and one hand for doing the work. And the lazy jacks where they're gonna go, they they option I can mount them to here, see? Yeah. So, keep them out. I, th I, th I think it'll work pretty okay. well. Okay. Yeah. Well I'll see you on the water, we'll see how it does. <laughs>